Oh my, bro. Best sniper in the game. Andy had caddy, stop playing with me. Yo, 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 you too. What to do? Hydric69, aka your monster, mobile boy, back with another video. And in today's video, we have a lot to talk over. And as you guys probably saw when you clicked on the video, this is a longer video than I normally do because we do have a lot to get into. And I want to fully explain to you guys what exactly is going on right now with Fortnite Mobile. Before we get into that, I hope you guys enjoyed that first clip there. I got that on stream and thought that was a pretty sick, like, no scope kind of snipe. So let me know what you guys think about that. Also, quick like plug, if you guys want to keep playing Fortnite Mobile, I have been streaming both customs as well as creative here and there just to try and keep the game alive and keep you guys interested in the game. As well as we do have a giveaway, as you guys know, once we hit 32.7k, I'll be giving away two Apple gift cards, and then we'll just see how it keeps going on from there with the future giveaways. So all you really need to do is subscribe to the channel, and you guys will basically be entered. You're just going to have to be quick once we hit 32.7k to check out that next video, but it's super simple just make sure you guys hit subscribe if you haven't drop a like on the video show love it does mean a lot you guys have been showing a lot of support to us so i thought i'd show some support back recently with the last couple of giveaways so i hope you guys enjoy the video let's not waste any time and get right into the news we have about four things to talk about today and i'm going to be breaking them down one by one so you guys know exactly where fortnite mobile stands right now let's get it so a big question I've been wondering lately, and I know you guys probably have as well, that I'd like to try and explain what I understand so far with the news that I've seen and read, is basically, is Fortnite Mobile trying to be added back in app stores everywhere, only in Korea, or not anywhere at all? And the reason this question has come up in the Fortnite Mobile news lately is because Epic recently has gotten rid of the third-party payment system, gotten rid of the item shop and being able to buy V-Bucks on iOS devices that still have Fortnite Mobile downloaded. Now, based on Tim Sweeney's tweets, we really haven't got much information on this topic about whether they're trying to add Fortnite Mobile back into South Korean app stores or around the world or not at all. But basically what I would think is that hopefully they're trying to add it back into South Korean app stores because that's what makes the most sense for me in removing it everywhere. And then as a consequence of it coming back in South Korean app stores, hopefully in America or wherever you guys are playing, we'd be able to download Fortnite Mobile through any kind of way through new Apple IDs or changing up our Apple IDs, but basically being able to use their updated app store and downloading it on our iOS devices. The reason I believe Epic has intended to remove the direct payment system, item shop and V-Bucks, all that stuff from the app stores right now everywhere is so that they can hopefully add it in South Korea. Like I kind of explained in my last video, I think if it is added in South Korea, based on what I've read in recent articles online and watched tutorials, I think it should be relatively easy to download Fortnite Mobile through their app stores, like I said, using new Apple IDs, or there's still, there'll be some kind of way to get the files in my opinion. Once it's on iOS devices over there, I feel like it should be able to be somewhat simple to get it back into files over here and for us to be able to play Fortnite Mobile. So this brings us into our next segment of the video, but before we get into why Apple hasn't responded or Apple's response, I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments, what mobile YouTubers do you watch outside of Fortnite Mobile YouTubers? Because I just wanna see like other mobile gaming content or really any kind of mobile content so let me know down below if you guys do watch other people on youtube who maybe play cod mobile pubg mobile whatever it is let me know who those youtubers are now as of september 21st as i'm filming this video it's almost 1 p.m we haven't received any response from apple or any news from apple if epic will be allowed to add fortnite mobile back into ios over in south korea because that's really what we're waiting on from what, as far as i know and in my opinion this isn't a too big of a deal right now as I kind of explained briefly in my last video, I'll try and explain a little bit better in today's video as why I don't think we're in a huge, huge rush or should have heard back from Apple yet and really waiting on their response. So the first reason I think Apple is taking a longer time than some people may be expecting is because they have to really kind of check in with the judge and their legal team to make sure they're not allowing Epic to do anything or add anything onto the app or game that they really don't have to let them add. Since they did win the court case, they kind of are in the majority in ruling and Epic's asking a favor at them basically 
of can we add Fortnite Mobile back into South Korea? Because now with South Korea's new law, as you guys probably know, they can have that third party payment processing system, which is a huge win for mobile and a huge win for gaming right now. Um, it's really blown up in the news lately, but they just wanna make sure that based on what Epic is kind of trying to ask for them to add back, that they're not gonna give anything or add anything back into the app store that they didn't have to let them add back. And the second reason goes right along with that is they're just making sure that Epic isn't sneaking anything in through the code that they wouldn't want them to have, like maybe some kind of payment processing system that they wouldn't approve, or that the judge wouldn't have to let, allow them to add back into the game. They just wanna make sure Epic hasn't been sneaky at all in this and following the rules based on what the judge has decided so far. So for the next part of the video, the third out of four parts, we only got one more left after this. I wanna explain how Fortnite Mobile could come back kind of a possibility. I don't think this is too far out of the realm of happening and could be allowed hopefully with the V-Bucks being gone and item shop being removed right now. So let me break that down for you guys. So since Epic Games isn't technically breaking any rules as far as I believe, since they've removed the direct payment system with buying V-Bucks and trying to buy stuff in the item shop, which has been removed as well, I think that what we could potentially see is Fortnite Mobile adding a link onto the app right now because we know they can change things, they have changed things, but hopefully a link directly taking us to Epic's website to then be able to buy V-Bucks there. Thanks to the ruling of Epic vs Apple, before we've had this retrial, they were able to now add on iOS links to other websites so you were able to buy, for example, V-Bucks there. We'd be able to get a link to go to the Epic Game Store or wherever and then buy V-Bucks that would then go back on our iOS device, which would be awesome because if that's legal now, it would give us a great alternative to buy V-Bucks at a cheaper price and then still be able to play Fortnite Mobile well, Epic Games is still fighting Apple because it is technically legal. And lastly, one of the biggest positive things I think we've seen come out of Epic vs Apple is the level of communication. Obviously, we've seen an uh, increase in news articles lately and information, but the really communication between Tim Sweeney as well as the mobile community has been awesome to see. He's replying to tweets. He's putting out more information to let us know exactly what's going on with Apple trying to respond. So that's been an awesome thing to see so far. Based on his recent responses, it seems that Tim Sweeney will hopefully keep up this level of communication with the Fortnite mobile community, which is great to see because we'll know exactly what Epic's trying to do and we'll also see through their eyes what Apple is doing right or wrong and how Apple has been responding to them, which is really gonna be a good thing to know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, make sure to subscribe if you wanna enter and win some Apple cards to do whatever you want with. Hope you guys really did enjoy the video. Let me know if you like the longer videos better than the shorter ones because I can try and make more of these. It allows myself to kind of slow down, really gives you guys the best information possible. And I think it'll help you guys understand what's going on more. But if you do like the three minute videos better, do let me know because those are a bit easier to make. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for the support. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.